Okay, Pauline and all you other kiddos, I am going to show you how I make homemade chili cheese mac. I don't like the hamburger helper kind. It don't taste good. Not to me. I buy the uh, Velveeta. I use great value. Love great value stuff. Save a few bucks. It's, I, it tastes good to me. I don't know what the good stuff tastes like. But anyway, so we cut half of this long Velveeta box. We cut it in half. And I have diced it up and put it into a separate bowl for now. You're not going to use it too much later. You need some elbows, some macaroni, but it's just not in the box with the fake cheese powder and all that stuff. And you need a, um, a large can of no bean chili. Hormel is the best. I don't like the other kind. If you like, you like the chili cheese mac that mama makes, this is what you need. Get great value in the cheese. Great value in the elbows, but get Hormel chili, no beans. A big can, not a little bitty one, but not the big restaurant size either. Okay, I've already got half of a roll of the five-pound um, hamburger meat, so there's about two, there's two and a half pounds of hamburger meat in there cooking. And I'm going to start my meal with this hamburger meat getting it done. See how some of it's kind of looking brown? Well, you want all of it to look brown. And then... When it gets to that stage, Mama's going to come back and I'm going to show you what it should look like. And then I'll show you what we're going to do after that. But in between that time, I'm going to pause the video because it's going to take up too much video time. You want to cut your cheese up into little squares, see? But you won't use those until kind of close to last. Same with the chili. The next thing you're going to do, once this hamburger meat gets done, you're going to add some of your elbows. So that's going to be next. Then, these two, your cheese and your chili, kind of go in at the same time. All right, I'm going to pause the video. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, baby cakes, the hamburger meat is done. It's all nice and brown. See all that? And all Mama did was I put it in a strainer, and I let, you know, letting that water strain out of it. And um, now that I, I rinsed it a little bit. Mama don't like all the grease in it, so I rinsed it. So I'm just going to pour it back in the same skillet. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to put that in the sink. And then I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to bring this back over to the stove. And we're going um, to take and just kind of straighten it back out in the pan. And then, let me see here. I'm trying to do all this one-handed. I don't have your daddy holding the camera for me this time. But you're just going to take your, your elbow noodles here. You open them up. So they're going in there next. I'm just going to sprinkle some of them in there. I'm going to stir it around. See if it looks like it's enough of them in there. You want about the same amount of noodles and meat. So it looks like we got less noodles right now, so we're going to sprinkle some more. Mama don't have a recipe for this, I'm sorry. I'm going to stir it around. Okay. That looks about right, right there. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to get my, there we got a little pitcher up there, tea pitcher. I'm going to drop my phone. So I'm going to get this tea pitcher. And I'm going to turn my water back on and I'm going to fill it up with water. I sure hope you learn how to cook from Mama. By the time you get old enough to cook, I already know you're going to want to hang out with your friends. And you're not going to want to stick around to hold pots and stir this and stick a fork in that. Alright, now all I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this, put this water into this skillet until it is just getting to where you can see it real good over the meat and the noodles. You don't want it over the meat and noodles, but you want to, you want to tell, can tell, see how it looks like it's about level with it? That's about what you want. And then you can just keep your water to the side because you may have to add some. But after you add your water to it, you're going to put the lid back on it. 
and you're going to let it cook for a while. I still have it on high. Once it gets to a good boil this time, though, I may turn the temperature down, but I'll let you know. But anyway, it may take a little while, so I'm going to pause the video for now, and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I want you to see what it looks like when it comes to a good boil. See how it's just bubbling, bubbling, bubbling? Well, now we're going to turn our temperature from high to about a medium. It's about halfway. And that's going to cause it to slow down a little bit because we don't want them noodles getting overcooked. But we still have plenty of water. So we're just going to cover it back up and let it cook on a lower temperature. You know what? I tell you what, we might add just a little bit more water. Mama's, Mama's kind of wrong on that one. Let's add that. Just a little bit. There we go. That kind of brought it back to where it was. Them noodles got to have water and room to expand. Okay. Well, let's see how that does. We still got our other water over there in case we need it. Put the lid back on and we're just going to let it cook for a while. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, baby doll. As you can see, these noodles are looking a lot fluffier. And all the water is just about out of it. So that's, that's, that's alright because you don't want it to have a lot of water in it. But what we're going to do now is we're going to add the can of chili. Remember I told you we were going to add that earlier? I'm going to add the can of chili. And you want to kind of stir it around. Gonna have to add just a little bit of water because you gotta have something to loosen that chili up. Okay. And loosen it up a little bit more. We're going to add just a little bit more water. And you're not adding a lot of water at a time. Just a little bit. This cheese to be able to melt. You're going to dump your cheese in there. Just a minute. I'm going to use my hands here. Sometimes you just got to get your hands in there. Okay. Get it scattered about. I don't want it all, on. I want it to kind of be everywhere in there. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit more water. Bet you I've probably only added maybe about another cup and a half of water out of those three different pours I just did. And then we're going to go back over here to the stove and we're going to turn it on, a, not quite on low, about halfway between medium and low. You want it about halfway. Because it's just time to just kind of let it slowly simmer and melt that cheese and get that chili real good and hot. And then it'll be done. So I'm going to put the lid back on it. So to hold the heat in. Mama's got some brownies going in here too. I'll do a video show you how to do brownies one day. But anyway, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, baby cakes, we have now left the, um, the cheese and the chili just cooking on, remember, on kind of medium-low. And as you can see, the cheese is melted really good. And see all that smoke? I don't know if you can see it on here or not, but there's a lot of smoke coming off of it. That lets you know it is good and hot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some pepper. Got a whole bunch. Yeah, I stirred that when you wasn't looking earlier. Well, Dad snuck up on me. Here's a little bit of salt. 
not very much salt at all. Salt's not good for you. But a little bit don't hurt, and it gives it good flavor. We're going to stir all that up. Got Daddy's hand over helping me now. Okay, about, I'm hungry. About 10 years from now, you'll be wanting to look at your Daddy's hand. Here, I'll give you mm. a good look at his face. Mmm. Mmm, so yeah. my belly because I'm hungry. Yep, yeah, he's got a, his belly's hungry. But I'm going to go ahead and make some toast, and I may video that for you one day if you don't get to learn how. But right now, we're going to be done with that. And here's the brownies. Remember I told you I was making some brownies with this meal? There's them good old brownies you're going to be wishing I could make for you again. Anyway, we're done with this video. Mom will post it on our website so you'll be able to find it one day when you want to know how to make homemade chili cheese, Matt. I love you. Bye.